hello welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is kitech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to create this amazing session over here it could be a hero session it could be any session but this is a portfolio session whereby you display um what you do on your website or uh, what you do for your clients um you know just one um, particular work that you've done on, for your client over here and then also you can be able to um you know um get a button over here whereby they will click on it to be able to go and see most of your what your works that you do now the amazing thing about this session is um not everything over here but just this particular thing okay so as i scroll on it you see that it gives me all the full view of what of um you know the website that i've created okay so um i took a screenshot of it and used it to uh, to do this one now if i move my mouse out of it you realize that it also go back to what um the the from the start okay so that is what we're going to do so if i go over here I um i put the mouse cursor on it it's going to give me a full view of it but if i put the mouse cursor out of it um you see that it goes what it goes uh, back to the what to the top now you can you 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 guys have seen this on my website um over there that i've displayed a couple of what works i've done um over there for some clients and other stuff and then you can see this kind of effect over there i'm going to show you how i created this one um this particular what um you know scroll effect that you see over here okay so if you are interested in it please um hit the subscription button for me if you haven't subscribed and then you know turn on the notification button if um, so that whenever i drop a video you can be able to come and then what look um watch it okay so um this video we are using specifically elementor to what to create this website now a lot of you guys have been asking me even if, if i use elementor pro no i do not use elementor pro but you know sometimes you need to find ways and means to do certain things that uh, the free version of Elementor can what can help you to do okay now in this video we are going to what use the free version of what Elementor to create this um scroll effect now we're going to write um you know some small code i'll leave the, a code for you um you know so that you can use it to what to do anything that you want to do with it use it to practice what we are what what we are using i'll put the link in the description you go to my website and then you'll copy the code from there and then you can use it okay now let's jump into the video and start with designing um this session over here all right guys so to um design this um you know website what we need is we need to install some um plugin okay so we need to install um you know make sure that you have elementor installed okay so if you don't know how to install elementor over on your um your plugins over here click on add new okay and then make sure that you have elementor installed okay so install elementor on it because that is the only um the first plugin that we're going to use okay so search for elementor okay elementor page builder okay elementor website page builder or a website builder search for that particular plugin this one over here click on install now and then click on what activate to activate it now um the next plugin that we're going to use is what um code snippet okay so just type in what snippet over here you're going to see the code snippet plugin that we're going to use okay so that is what the second plugin this one over here that is the second plugin that we are what we want to use so elementor is for us to create our pages and then the code snippet is for us to be able to where we can be able to what, um you know paste our code over there for the code to run um what instructions that we want to give the code for us okay so that is what exactly what we are going to what we are going to look use okay so um to make this happen now we're gonna go to um you know a new page over here click on add new we're gonna add a new what a new page okay we're gonna call the page simple page okay or maybe new page two or whatever it is okay so let's say we go call the page any name you want to call it okay so let's say i want to call the page let's say home okay i will change the um, template to what elementor full width over here okay and then i'll click on what um you know publish to publish it now i'm gonna click on edit with elementor to uh, to start editing my page okay so like i told you that make sure you have elementor because if you don't have elementor you cannot use this one and then also make sure that you have what code snippet what installed to be able to help you um you know start designing your website now the next one that we are going to what 
um, do is firstly first um, first things first sorry first things first we click on this uh, plus icon over here now we are going to what we're going to um, you know pick a, a two page what um, structure okay so just click on here to pick this two page structure now we want to what expand our what our um, section okay so what we're going to do is um we're going to give it what a minimum height okay and then we're going to give it what v8 of what 100 okay so um we want to give it what v8 of 100 okay now we the next one is what if you look at this one over here we're going to give it what a background okay so what we're going to do is what um, we click on style over here and then we are going to give it what a background so um background type over here we want to give it what the gradient to a background over here now we we maintain this color and then we're going to choose um some kind of like a blue background to it okay so um i think this one is quite okay okay this one is okay now that we have this one done so the next thing we're going to do is we click on this you know icon over here the nine dots icon over here and then we're going to drag in what an inner um session okay so we're going to drag in an inner session um over here okay so we're going to use this inner session now make sure that you drag it to this one because we are going to write um over here we're going to type in um you know whatever we want to type over here and then this side we want to use the inner session so what we're going to do is that uh, i just want to use only one column so i'm going to delete what um the, fir the the first column so that it's going to be an inner session but what one column over here okay so now that i have it done i'm going to type uh, click on this one now um i want i'm going to use um this particular website okay so this particular um you know website to what to to be able to um you know screenshot the 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 home page and then use it to what to design uh, my what my page so as you can see this is the website that i'm going to use okay so how do i get a screenshot now of course to get a screenshot i would um you know i would advise you to install this um this go full page over here okay so make sure that you, you install this one go to um you know google and then search for what go full page okay it is an add-on okay you can just have it on your browser over here and then you can be able to what, um, screenshot anything that you want to do anything that you want to what you want to screenshot okay so um go to um google you know and then google chrome that is the chrome browser you go to google chrome um, extensions okay so go to google chrome so if you go to google over here you can search for chrome um, extensions okay so chrome extensions or chrome extension store so let's say we're going to go for chrome extension store and then we're going to go to a chrome web store okay this one is what we are looking for okay just um you know search for it and then um when you are here just type in what go full go full okay page so the go full page that is what we are searching for this particular what this particular one okay go full page full sc page screen capture okay so this is what we are looking for just install it if you haven't you know install it just you know click on it and then make sure that what you have what you have installed it i have already installed it that's why it says what i should remove okay now make sure that you install it it will be added to your what your chrome extensions and then you can what you can use it to what, to capture any full screen that you want um, capture any page that you want so i want to capture this uh, particular word particular so i'm going to go to my extensions over here and i click on what the go full um, page um you know um to capture the what the the full screen for me so now it is doing its work it is just one click and then it's going to what, capture the full screen of the website for me okay of course you can use your own kind of thing software to be able to so as you can see i have the full screen over here all what i need to do is so to just click on what download image over here and then it will download the image for me okay so i'm going to close it now i'm going to close this one also and then i'm going to come over here and then what i'm going to do is what i'm going to click over here okay and then over here i'm going to give it a minimum height okay so i'm going to give it a minimum height of 600 okay 
I'm going to give it a minimum height of 600. And then I'll go to what? Style over here. Okay, so let me go to style. And then the background, um, you know, type, I'm going to give it to a classic. And then I'm going to what? Um, you know, drag in the image that what I screen captured. Okay, so I'm going to drag in that image over here. And then all what I need to do is what? To just hold on for the image to upload. And then I what? I will just insert it into my background over there. And then you see how quickly how it's um you know it's done okay so let's hold on and then when it's done we move on okay guys so as you can see it is what it is done so all what i need to do is to insert the media over here and then it will be it will be inserted for me over here so as you can see guys this is how it looks like now this is not how we want it so how do we position it in such a way that it fits in um you know the screen exactly as we want okay so it's very simple now go to a default uh, the the position over here position it to a top center okay so we're going to position it to a top center and then the repeat we're going to say what no repeat and then the size we want it to be what cover okay so as you can see we have it what done for us over here so now we get it to what, we get the um the 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 screenshot um inserted into our our um our session for us now um the next thing we want to do is what to you know go to border over here okay so we're going to go to border and then give it a border radius of let's say 20 okay so that it's going to have some kind of curvy um connects uh, connects okay now we're going to give it what a box shadow so we want it to have um you know a little bit of what box um shadow okay we want to increase the um the sh the the a shadow a little bit so you can see some shadow all around it okay and that is what we want okay so um basically this is how it's going to what it's going to look like so you can see some shadow all around it okay so that is exactly what we want now um we are done over here not really done but we want to focus over here so what are we going to do now we, this one says so check our out our what our portfolio so um i'm going to click on this nine dots over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag in the heading widget over here okay now what i'm going to do is we're just pasting what i copied right now over here and then i'll style it so i'm going to go to style over here and then change the um the font color to what to white and then the font uh, typography type i'm going to what give it montserrat okay so um let me just give it montserrat so I'm going to search for Montserrat and then I'm going to give it to 25. Okay, 25 is okay. Now that I'm done over here, now I, I will just duplicate this one. Okay, so let me just duplicate this one and then just type in what? Portfolio. Okay, now I'm just going to what? increase the size of what? Of this one over here. Okay, so I'll go over here and then just, you know, increase the size to any size um that i want so i think 85 is quite okay so i'm going to give it 85 and then um i'm going to insert with a button over here so i'll click on this nine dots over here and then i'll drag in with a button widget over here okay so this is the button that i'm going to use and then i'll say what our what folio okay so our portfolio is there now I'll go to what um, you can link the button to your portfolio. I'll go to style over here and then style the button. So I'm going to go over here and then give it to it, um, you know, typography of Montserrat. Okay. And then um, I'll say 18. And then with the, um, everything is okay, only the, the color. So I'm going to give this one with white color. And then I'm going to. Okay, so I'm going to give this one, sorry, black color, okay, and I'm going to give this one white color, okay, so I want it to be what, to be white. So guys, as you can see, it looks similar to it, to this one over here, okay. So now, um, I think we have, we have everything, what, everything set up. Now, what else do we have to do? So the next thing that I want to do is I want to just give the border radius as what, at zero, okay, and then um, I think that is... That is quite okay so the next thing is to make this one this thing over here what over here scroll okay so how do we make it scroll that is the most important thing okay 
So that is why the other plugin come in place because we're going to what um, pasting some code over there. So let me just update this one over here. Let me update this one, and then I'm going to go and then see the what the page. Okay, so I'm going to click to see how our page what looks like. So guys, as you can see, this is how it looks like, but it's not scrolling. Okay, so how do we make it scroll, guys? How do we make it scroll? And that is what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to give you this code over here, okay? So this particular code over here. So copy the code over here, okay? Just copy um, the code. We're going to copy it. And then go back to what? Our website, okay? So I'm going to go to the dashboard of the website. And then we're going to what? Use the code. And then change some things over there to make it what? To make it work. So I'm going to go to the dashboard over here. And then... I'll go to code snippets, the snippets that we installed, okay? Now, I'm going to add, um, you know, a new what, snippet, okay? So, just adding a new snippet, and then the snippet should be what, a function what, um, function snippet, okay? Now, pasting the code that I gave you over here, okay? So, just pasting the code that I gave you. Now, the code is not complete because we need to what, add in this particular what, thing over here, okay? So, I'll give you all the code. And then as you can see it is what it is gone so um now what we need to do is what we need to change this one over here okay so this one and then exactly this one also okay so that we make it what we make it work so this and this is what we are going to change now how do we change it how do we change it um that is where we come over here and then right click or we we have to get um the exact code for what for what we need to replace it over here okay so right click this one over here and then you know go to inspect okay B you can get that particular code when you go to what inspect okay so go to inspect now we'll fix the what the mobile responsive when we are done with what with what we want okay go to inspect and then inspect the what the code to get um inspect the website to get the what the code that we what we need okay so first of all what we are going to do is um we're going to check the id of what of the you know the session that we are what that we are using okay so let me scroll up and see if i could get the the page id or the elementor id yes very good so it is what elementor 35 okay so what we need to do is what just copy this particular thing over here so as you can see you get the page id by what going to what, um you know this side okay go to this side now you can get it by here click over here okay and then it will bring you over here but that is not what we want just go to the top over here okay and then where you see um you know data elementor type which is what wp what page okay and then we're going to copy what the did um the the id this one okay so this one is what we're going to co copy so elementor um dash 35 okay so we will go back to what over here and then where it says elementor 6 we're going to put in elementor dash 35 as you see over here the same thing applies to what this one elementor dash what 35 now and it's it is left with what the um the elementor element okay and then the elementor element id so how do we get it okay so now what we need to do is what to just click on this you know this um pen, um the 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 kaza over here and then you know just hit it over here it will bring you to this place now you can see the what the elementor id over here so as you can see this is the what the element elementor element um you know the and the and it's out id so what we're going to do is what just you know right click on it okay just um don't don't right click on it just double click on it and then you know select it you know sometimes i do get it wrong all the all the time but i'm going to try this one if it doesn't work we will still go through and then what find the original one that we are on so if this one doesn't work i'm sure this one will work work okay so let's go to what to the um code snippet over here and then replace this one with this particular one over here okay so we're going to replace this one with this um 
one over here okay so now that we're done with it now all what we need to do is so just give uh the name over here so let's say um home scroll okay so i'm going to give it home scroll and then we want to run it everywhere okay and then click on what save changes and activate okay so now that we have it now let's go over here and then also view the page again in a new tab and then let's see i don't want to close this part because sometimes i make um, mistakes in copying the what the code okay so if i do the mistake so now that we have it so you see as you can see i hover it's not working okay it is not working let's see if what we've um, really done everything correct everything is correct but it's not working meaning that the code that we copied is what is wrong so let's go and then see the what the session what um you know element that session okay so let's copy um that particular one over here so this one is what we need to what we need to see and then copy if that one also doesn't work then we need to what um you know look through again and then copy the right one the right one so, but i think this one is supposed to be the what the correct one okay so now let's copy it and then go back to the code snippet over here and then paste this one also over here paste it over here and then go over here and then paste this one to over here and now let's click on save changes to it to um you know run the code for us so now that we've done it now let's go over here and then you know um refresh the page and see if the code um works okay so now guys as you can see it is now what it is now working okay so make sure that you you picked this particular what one okay where it says session class okay session class so there are two codes that we're going to pick the session class code which is the elementor element and then it's what it's code numbers over here and then the um the page what the page also id okay the elementor page what um you know data type id okay so the class over here the class name that is where we are going to what pick so elementor 35 and then what um the page what um id okay so guys as you can see it is working for us okay so everything what works perfectly for us so now we are done okay now the only thing we need to do is now you can play around let me let me show you um the code now you can play around it okay so is um in and out you can what either you know change it to may maybe um you know six five six or whatever you want to what you want to change it to okay so it depends on what how you want it to what to be okay so the transition and all those things so you can what play around it you know and then see what you want you want okay so but i think um everything is what quite okay for me i'm not going to do it anything and then um the next thing we're going to do is what go over here and then we want to what make it mobile responsive now at, when we went to the inspect you can see how it looks like over here it is not mobile what responsive okay so let's go over here and then um click on this the responsive tab over here and then you know go to um tablet mode to see how it's face so as you can see it is not good okay so we're going to change the size of what the font over here instead of 85 we're going to make it like 65 or so or 60 okay so 60 is what uh let's say 55 okay so 55 is quite okay now i think this one is what also okay now we can go over here go to the mobile side now as you can see it is not good okay so with the mobile side we can give it what um some pattern at the top and bottom so the top we're going to give it a pattern of 50 the bottom also 50 okay now we will reduce the size of what of this one to what 18 and then um position it in the middle okay so we're going to align it in the middle and then go to the do the same thing for the portfolio we want to what uh, make it like 45 okay and then position it also in the what in the middle now we're going to do the same thing to this one okay so the the button also we will what reduce it to what let's say 16 okay and then you know position the button or align it in the what in the middle 
and then i'll go to advanced and then um give it what a margin um, bottom margin of what of let's say 10 or 20 okay so that there'll be some kind of space between this one okay so now i think everything is what everything is good and everything is what perfectly done okay so um guys as you can see it is what it is working perfectly now let's go over here and then you know refresh this place and see if everything is what working perfectly for us so as you can see our um you know tablet to is what is working now to make um you know this one also scroll if the person hits on it you see it will what will be what scrolling um for for the person to to see so this is what an amazing what an amazing thing um for you to what you to have okay and that is what and that is it so thank you for watching and i know you guys are um you guys have learned a lot from this place okay instead of you to be um getting the if you don't have money to get the how do you call it the elementor pro you can use this small small tricks to be able to uh, to be able to you know um design your website make it nicely done um for your client and then for your what for yourself okay thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye